Hey everybody, Yarn Fairy here. Wanted to share what happened today. Dee Dee and I pulled stuff out of the linen closet and I found these beautiful quilts. This one's super old. Actually, these three are super old. That's Fan, Star. You know what? These are my fabrics. This one I made. Pretty sure, yeah, I had this from a, uh, yeah. One of those stamping kits. This one is super old. A friend gave it to me and I really need to quilt it because it's gonna fall apart if I don't. Bow ties. And it's really large. I need to fix that. Then here is a crazy froggy quilt because I love frogs. And I found these. So it looks like I was gonna add a border around the outside because it's just got the charms on the outside. Then this one is a collaboration of um, stars, butterflies, and bow ties. And it too is super old. Some of these fabrics are, yeah, it's really old and it needs to be quilted. I am putting out a call for long arm quilters. This one <laughs> was a round robin started with me doing the applique in the center. It's a peacemaker's block from Costa Mesa. And then everybody added a row. And they're all so precious. There's three-dimensional turtle. He moves, he's saying hi. And these puffy stars. And all across, okay, let's start down the bottom. So on the bottom left, we have cattails that go into a dragonfly this beautiful diamond section, and then it starts with a tree, with a frog, because it's the froggy quilt. And the tree goes into a little pond with dragonflies and a little froggy peeking out. Me cute. And then it goes up to the top where the stars start coming out. Isn't this amazing? I love this quilt. It's so beautiful, but it's gonna take a special quilter to work this as they're, you know, three-dimensional. There's beads. Uh, the froggy's eyes have beads and his nose has beads. And these are like a three-dimensional applique. So yeah, it's gonna take some special um, hand-done work, I believe, for the quilting. But they're so cute. So, who wants them? <laughs> and then I have to share this, you guys. You guys, I started to cry when my daughter pulled this out of the back of the left-hand corner of the deep linen closet of doom. Like, it's never been opened, cleaned, and we just keep shoving quilts in there and afghans and all kinds of stuff. Sunbonnet Sleuths Y2K Mystery with 2,000 Charm Squares. Yep, I got my Y2K quilt back. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to share it because I just want to cry. The most precious of all, the Siggies. There's Siggies from all over the world in here with everybody that I swapped with. I can't wait to count them up and see exactly how many swaps I did. Can you believe this? I'm so thrilled. These are the charms already cut and ready to go. Can you believe I stopped there? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Look, here's even post-its. Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm so thrilled, you guys. I just, I, words cannot express how happy I am that this has been found. I'm, I'm, Okay, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. 56-year-old who can't control her emotions. But look, I mean, if you were around back then, you recognize some of the fabrics. And none of these are from my stash. They're all from people all around the world who... Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. And I guess this is the quilt I'm making with it. I'm not making that other quilt that I was looking at because, dang, this thing is, like, mostly done. Just a couple, you know, maybe a week, and I could have it complete. 
So yeah, there's my Y2K. I am a very happy camper and my kitties like the quilts too. Bye.